what is up guys we are back and today we finally got an intake for this car i've been waiting for companies to come out with it and unfortunately i mean don't get me wrong i'm not trying to bash anybody but i know that it takes some time you know to get them made and to make sure everything is good but i did see that knn made their own intakes for these for this car so i was like you know what let me try it out at least to give you guys a review as well in case if you guys are interested and let's like i said let's see how it turns out on this car so for starters i'm gonna start off by removing these two clamps with a phillips screwdriver or this is the phillip bit but you know what i mean taking this off first once you loosen it it's easy just wiggle it and it's out then with the same phillip you're gonna take out these two phillip screws that are on the sensor just be very careful when removing just in case because I don't want to take no chances and so yeah just take it off and then you hit it with something or whatever and then you get a cold or just be safe this is how it looks and once it's removed like i said just be careful with it because i know that those sensors at times could be very sensitive now if i'm correct it is three 10 millimeter bolts there's one right here focus yep right there and then there's two more right here on top of the intake so again three as of right now if i find more i'll let you know now so i had to take out two more 10 millimeter bolts that were right here in the front of the car as you can see the holes are right there and then there was a clip that i just removed with a flathead screwdriver so once you do that intake comes up so for starters I wrapped around this whole entire uh, heat shield that comes with your kit with K&N with the trim that they provide you I wrapped it around the whole entire thing I'm gonna cut this little piece right here but just to show you guys it fit completely with a little bit to spare so then this part is where the intake actually gets held down with the clamp they provide you two screws uh allen screws in a sense if i'm correct let me check it out for you guys so that you know the exact size the screw size for this is a, a four an allen key four if i'm correct I have the socket so it just says w4 the uh, hw4 something like that so it's a small one just you know in advance so i started putting the coupler on on the inlet piping right and i also put the coupler on the other side of where the intake goes in on the heat shield right now those two are tight so once you have the heat shield all prepped up all the couplings are on all the clamps are tightened once i put the heat shield on you put back the regular 10 millim 10 millimeter bolt that comes from factory onto the heat shield and then you just got to make sure that that grommet right there if when you're taking it off the stock intake if it stays stuck onto the stock intake remove it and put it onto the knn if not, if it stays in place, then you just wiggle this right on top of it. And as you can see, sturdy. Once I put the, the intake pipe, I know for a fact that's not moving nowhere. So now that everything is tightened down, I went ahead and I put the intake pipe. Squeeze it into the clamps. Put their clamp on as well first. Put it on the actual coupling. Then you put the tube and you tighten it down. Put back the sensor. Now it's time to put that, well, now it's time to put the intake. So there we go, guys. All done. Everything is all nice and tight. Clamps, screws, bolts. It was a pretty simple install. Cannot complain. Like I said, guys, it was legit. Three 10 millimeters. One, two. I think I'll take this off 
I just realized that I'll take that off. Uh, it's another 10 millimeter. You could just remove this bracket when you guys can. Um, then I took off this one, this one, this little clip with a flathead. You pop it open, take it off completely. You take out the whole intake as you saw. Uh, now putting everything back as I try to explain to you guys, the trim that K&M provides you, the heat shield. I bolted it down with the stock uh, 10 millimeter. This rubber grommet right here, this one. If it doesn't come off with the intake, you could just scoot, you know, try to maneuver the heat shield onto it. If, wait, did I get that right? I'm sorry, guys. If it comes off with the stock intake, uh, intake, just take it off, put it back, and then maneuver this heat shield on top of it so it won't move, as you can see. Um, then over here, both uh, couplers that they provide you, they provide you a good amount of clamps in order for you to tighten everything up. Obviously, the intake itself comes with its own clamp, so that's in its box. Uh, the sensor is tightened up as well, everything good. So k &N does provide you guys with a whole sheet showing you guys how to install as well too. I'm just giving you, you know, the actual video. So you could look at the video. If it helps out and you do a straightforward, perfect. That's exactly what I'm doing this for, you know, to try to help you guys. But you could also look at the paper while you watch the video so you can see and get ideas to make it and put it your own way, you get me? So like I said, pretty straightforward install. It looks great, guys. Don't get me wrong. The car is coming along very well. Uh, I've been saying that I'm going to make the video of the whole review. I was just waiting on this part before anything so I could just give you a review overall completely. Next thing up, hopefully, we get an exhaust for this thing. And also, I want to get the E85 kit so we can run. But again, guys, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please consider liking it and if you're liking so far the content that I'm throwing out for you guys, consider subscribing. The channel has been growing. I appreciate the love, comments, the love. Thank you, guys. It's literally giving me motiv more motivation for me to make more videos and try to help you guys out. And at the same time, too, if there's something that you want to see or if you there's something you want me to talk about, you guys could also leave, leave a comment below. Let me know. I'm all ears. This is Full Speed Auto, and I'll check you guys on the next one. Peace.